In just six days, two people have been killed on East Washington Avenue in Madison. Last Saturday, a 30-year-old crossing the street was hit by a driver who took off. The accused driver has been arrested and charged. Then around 7 this morning, a bicyclist was hit and killed. New at 6, he's been identified as 57-year-old David Frischkorn of Madison. Police say the driver stuck around, was cooperative, and has not been arrested. Local leaders are saying enough is enough. New at 6, Ward Jolla spoke with the mayor of Madison and other city officials about their plan to bring traffic deaths on the infamous avenue down to zero. Twice in just a week, tragedy struck Madison's east side. Two people hit and killed in crashes on the highway that pushes right into the heart of the city. It is the worst street to drive on. Lauren Cutts works just feet from where a bicyclist was killed Friday morning. For her, it's an experience that's all too familiar. She was hit by a car on her bike in November. And if she had not have stopped and was just accelerating full on, I would have probably died. East Washington Avenue has a historically dark reputation for residents here on the east side of Madison. And with two fatal crashes here in just the past week, city officials are cracking down on reckless driving. It is never acceptable for us to lose somebody in a traffic accident, and so we take this incredibly seriously. To fight the figures, Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway has started the Vision Zero campaign, an initiative to bring traffic fatalities in the city to a full stop by education efforts and lowering speed limits. We are going to keep pushing on, all again, all three solutions, enforcement, education, and engineering, to do everything we can to make not just this corridor, but all streets in our city as safe as possible. Madison police are in on the effort too and say they'll be increasing their presence on the street this summer. It's a historic issue. Um, so that means that it will not be solved overnight, but it also means that we just need to work a little bit harder. And residents like Cuts are hoping that hard work will pay off. But for her, one accident is enough. It's really terrifying. I mean, I, like I said, I figured out a way to avoid East Wash. Um, I'm five minutes behind every day because of that, but um, I would strongly recommend to anyone biking, avoid East Wash. In Madison, we're jealous, 27 News. Well, he's somebody got hit by a car on the bike. Madison police are urging all drivers on East Washington, especially during the holiday weekend, to follow speed limits, put the phone down, and always look out for pedestrians.